Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. There's something about the beach that livens you up. Whether you're just there to soak up the scenic views of the beach, or simply to take in the invigorating briny scent of the ocean's gentle breeze, the thought always crosses your mind every time you hear that calming murmur of the ocean waves. Grab those swimming shorts or bikini for some fun in the water. But not all beaches are great paradise getaways with sun, sand, and water. If you're planning a vacation, I strongly suggest that you cross these 10 dangerous beach destinations off your list. Number 10. Cannon Beach, Oregon On those rare sunny days when the rain and winds have called it quits, locals in Clatsop County, Oregon know it's time to hit Cannon Beach. This is a big, dramatic beach watched over by the iconic haystack rocks rising up 235 feet from the dark sand. Every summer, tourists and locals visit the magnificent monolithic rock to picnic, fly kites, and watch birds. However, even when the sun is glistening in the sky, the summer temperatures are at their hottest, and the water seems more inviting than ever before, don't expect to see bathers enjoying the ocean waters. That's because the waters on this side of the Pacific are always freezing cold. Temperatures rarely crest over 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and it gets much colder in winter. Seeing a few surfers in the water might tempt you, understandably, but remember that those are professionals and they're always in highly insulated wetsuits. Number 9. Utaklev Beach, Norway It's impossible to be unmoved by the dance of the northern lights and the midnight sun if you're catching it from the Lovaten Islands Utaklev Beach. This is perhaps the most visited and most photographed beach, not just for the striking northern light allure, but for its near-white sands, turquoise ocean waters, and scenic mountain views as well. At Utaklev Beach, the mountains over the Steinsfjord are a little less looming, making the open beach the perfect destination for campers, bird watchers, and keen photographers. However, while the coast this side of Norway's Lofoten Islands looks romantic and waters rather inviting, best retain that beanie, the hooded fleece jacket, and those hard shell pants and remain on dry, chilly land. The waters north of the Arctic Circle are always freezing cold, ranging between 46 and 57 degrees Fahrenheit, making for one polar bear plunge you should definitely skip. Number 8. Kilauea Beach, Hawaii Ah, Hawaii! It's home to a glut of the most beautiful beaches in the world. The coast here is known for its magnificent splash of brilliant white, vivid green, or dark black shorelines surrounded by almost impossible azure blue ocean waters, and the weather is always perfect for swimming. Except, try to avoid taking a dip at Kilauea Beach. The water is lovely and the black sand makes the beach astonishingly beautiful, but Kilauea's location close to an active volcano makes the water temperature here rise to a whopping 110 degrees. This volcano has been active for 35 years, continuously spewing hot lava into the ocean water. The extremely high water temperatures pose a threat, which is much greater than the allure of the stark black sand meeting the crystal clear sea. Even beachcombing is a no-no for the black sand beach of the Big Island. The dense white plume formed when hot molten lava is violently cooled by ocean water creates an aerial threat to the people downhill. The collision emits a mixture of volcanic glass and other corrosive substances, which are hazardous to humans and wildlife in the long term. Number 7. Chow Patty Beach, Mumbai There are only a handful of major cities in the world that can boast of proximity to an excellent beach with perfect white sand and long stretches of tranquil turquoise water. Mumbai, or Bombay as the locals still call it, is one of those vibrant cities that's blessed with a sweeping coastline. The city never sleeps, and the sheer pace of life here is just incredible. The endless picturesque beaches coupled with vibrant, carnival-like seashores often make the best escapes from the hustle-bustle of city life. Unfortunately, as thousands of people flocking to the beaches to cool off every day and little being done in terms of waste management, some of Mumbai's once beautiful beaches quickly became overwhelmingly polluted. 
Chaopati Beach, located right at the heart of Mumbai, is a vivid showcase of how pollution can quickly rob us of our beautiful beaches. Mumbai's Chaopati has for a long time remained dangerously polluted with an ungodly combination of sunken coal, plastic waste, and untreated sewage filling the water and sands of the beach. It was, in fact, dubbed the world's most polluted beach. Number 6. Stathis Beach, UK This small sandy beach on the east coast is instantly recognizable for its photographic, naturally sheltered harbor protected by the towering, rugged cliffs overlooking the beach. The beach is a favorite evening spot for courting couples and families due to its gently inclining shore and shallow waters. However, while the beach is ideal for a day of leisure, don't expect to find large groups of swimmers taking a dip in the waters. As scenic as the beach may appear to be, it has frequently failed the minimum standards on cleanliness set out by the EU. In fact, the water's quality here is so notoriously bad that there has been talk of removing it from the UK's official list of bathing beaches. The beach lacks essential facilities such as toilets, water, and changing areas. And there's a storm overflow pipe draining farm sewage into the sea, raising the water pollution levels as to warrant swimming prohibition. The polluted waters put bathers at risk of contracting diarrhea, typhoid, ear and eye infections, meningitis, and possibly hepatitis A. Number 5. Playa Zipolite, Mexico A beach holiday at this tiny beach town in the state of Oaxaca, Mexico would be the perfect excuse to escape the daily grind. It is a white, sandy slice of paradise ideal for a relaxed sunbathing or a nice afternoon stroll on the windswept beach. You'll just have to love the place, and the locals are quite friendly and unpretentious. Happy hour is an all-day affair, but not so much of a boisterous nightlife. Perfect if you're just looking to enjoy a cool night, taking in the cool evening breeze of the beach. By day, the temperatures here are crazy. You'll want to ditch your clothes and feel the warm Pacific Ocean gently breaking its waves against your bare skin. By the way, this is one of the few beaches in Mexico where you can actually roam naked. The only problem is, you might not enjoy the water here as much as you would on the other beaches where nudity is prohibited. That's because the waves here are unpredictable. This side of the coast experiences powerful rip currents, which have been known to overwhelm many bathers, earning Ziplite the nickname Beach of the Dead, or as the locals put it, Playa de los Muertos. Number 4. Skeleton Coast, Namibia this is one of those few places in the world where the ocean goes in to meet the desert. The result is a breathtaking temperate desert coastline teeming with sea life. Among other creatures that freely roam in the dunes and beaches are neon pink flamingos, giraffes, caracal cats, leopards, cheetahs, sharks, and hundreds of thousands of cape fur seals. Yet, even as the desert coastline is alive with unique animal and plant life, it remains perceptively alone and miserable. The thousands of rusty shipwrecks and bleach-white whale bones littering the coast have come to symbolize the region. And let it not be lost to you that the coast itself is known as Skeleton Coast, an appropriate moniker. So while Skeleton Coast is a unique beach holiday destination, if you're just looking for a little relaxation with your Namibia itinerary, the waters there do not make for pleasant or safe swimming. Number 3. Cairns, Australia You'll find no shortage of beautiful beaches in this far-flung corner of the globe. Miles of milky white sandy beach stretches the entire island coast with a plethora of pristine hotels overlooking the shoreline. But Cairns is the exact opposite. Instead of sandy beaches, a muddy wasteland full of all manner of dangerous creatures ready to attack anyone who dares enter the waters. Huge signposts are warning of the dangers bathers will face should they decide to go to this beach. You'll share the water with ravenous saltwater crocs, and between November and May, the waters come alive with stingers that will sting you to death. There are nets to keep the marine stingers like the deadly box jellyfish away, but there is still a risk of little stingers penetrating, especially during stinger season. Fortunately, Cairns more than makes up for with its lack of beaches with the Esplanade Lagoon, a 4,800 square meter saltwater public swim facility with white sand and sunken lounge chairs, offering a safe swimming alternative free of stingers and crocodiles. Now it's time for today's best pick. 
And now in today's best pick, beware of the shark infested waters of the Pacific. But how worried should you be about shark attacks when you go swimming or surfing? Let's find out more. Number two, Red Triangle, California. Viewing it from the Farallon Islands, the 200 mile wide coastline starting from the Bodega Bay, spanning through the San Francisco Bay, all the way down to the Monterey Bay has come to be known as the Red Triangle. It's home to a rich population of marine mammals, including sea lions, harbor seals, and sea otters, sharks' favorite food group. As expected, therefore, there was an increased concentration of sharks lurking in the waters, giving the Red Triangle the aforementioned bloody reputation. And even as experts still maintain that shark bites on humans are rare, that you are more likely to win an Oscar than being bitten by a shark, with 11% of total shark attacks in the world, the Red Triangle has come to be the easiest place to get attacked by a great white shark in the United States. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, Reunion Island, France. Once a popular beach for surfing and other water activities, this tropical escape in the French island off the coast of Madagascar is now completely abandoned due to the increased risk of bull shark attacks. The first shark attacks were witnessed way back in 2011, and the situation hasn't improved ever since. In fact, things got worse to the point that the local government had to restrict surfing and prohibit access to the ocean since July 2013. Some daring surfers would defy the ban and risk being bitten by the menacing sharks haunting the waters of the island. The government even condemned such recklessness on the part of some surfers, especially citing the latest case of an attack in which one surfer was bitten by a shark to death in the western shoreline. Surf stores closed shop following the ban, and with the decline in surf tourism, the local economy gradually began to plunge. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like icon and leave a comment. Your engagement is what keeps our curiosity going. We have lots of fantastic videos that you will enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.